Hey everyone, Pastor Jim here. Welcome to this week's message for youth and kids from Atkinson Congregational Church. We are the light on the hill, and we say that no matter who you are or where you are on your journey through life, that you are welcome here. This week we're starting to get ready for Christmas. This Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent, which is the time when we're getting ready for Christmas. And so there's lots of things to do as we're getting ready for Christmas. And this week I'm thinking about how good it is when we don't have to do stuff alone. Every year there's a group of folks who come in and decorate our church for Christmas. They do stuff like they put out the candles for the Advent wreath and the poinsettias and the purple vestments and there's candles, electric candles in the windows that'll come on when it gets dark and it's a lot of work to do all that but a whole group of people show up to do it and, and so that makes it easier than if you had to do it all by yourself and so that's really what I'm thinking about this week how good it is that we don't have to do stuff all by ourselves all the time. Look, there's nice, cool wreaths out here, too. Check them out. Oh, yeah. So the church is looking ready for Christmas. I don't know about me. I'm not ready for Christmas. I don't know if you are, but we still got a ways to go. Good thing. <sighs> Working together is a good thing. I bet you can think of some examples when doing something with other people is better than doing it by yourself. Sometimes it's because there's a lot of work. When we lived in Vermont, we used to heat our house with wood, so we had a wood stove. And every year we'd get four cords of wood delivered. And I don't know if you know how much a cord of wood is, but let's just say this, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's so much that it took two big dump trucks to drop all that wood in my driveway. And I would get outside and I would look at that pile of wood in the driveway and I would go, because all that wood had to get brought inside and stacked up nice and neat so that all through the winter we could use it to heat the house. If it stayed outside in that big pile, it would get wet, it would get snow on it, and it wouldn't be any good. But man, that was a lot of wood to stack. So every year... My wife, Lynn, and my kids, Elizabeth and Patrick, we'd all pitch in and work on it together. And we'd all carry the wood in and stack it up. And man, it would go so fast. A lot faster than if I had to do it all by myself. I'll tell you that. It's good to work together. Sometimes it's because there's a lot of work. Sometimes it's to help somebody else. Sometimes it's just because it's better to do stuff with people, with friends than it is to be alone. You know, the Bible talks about this in lots of different places. The This week's message from the Go Plus folks, you'll learn about Jeremiah who wanted to rebuild the big wall around the city. But man, this wall was like way thick, way high. And he was never going to get it done by himself. And so he convinced everybody else to chip in and help. And when everybody else started chipping in and helping, it turned out not to be that hard not to be that big of a burden. And people enjoyed working with each other and getting stuff done. The Bible says in lots of places that it is much better to work with friends and others than it is to be alone and work alone. Uh, you hear it about it in Ecclesiastes and a bunch of other places. So the Go Plus message is going to talk about that this week. I'm thinking of other times, too, when not being alone is good. You know, one year I did the crop walk. And one year I did it, I walked all by myself. That was hard. Not because it was so long, just because I got bored and lonely and I just wanted it to be over. And then the next year I walked, but with a bunch of other people. And then, like, the walk flew by like that because I was with other people and enjoying their company. Man, I think God's got this one right. It's much better to be with others and do things together than to be on your own. And that's the message for this week. That's the good news for this week, my friends. So this week, I want you to find ways 
that you can be with others. Maybe it's to help them. Maybe it's just to give them some company. Maybe it's because they need something. You know, because someday you might need something. And wouldn't you like it if other people came and helped you? Yep, me too. And it happens for me all the time. People show up and help. It happens around our church all the time. People show up and help. It's pretty awesome. All right, so depending on where you're watching this, I want you to go over to our church's website, atkinsoncc.org. Click on the green link near the top. says Virtual Church School. It'll take you to our Go Plus page. And there you can see this week's lesson, the video, and the handouts that go with it. Uh, if you can, if you're on YouTube or get to YouTube, and please click like and please click subscribe. And that helps us share this message with other folks and get more and more people to see these messages from the Light on the Hill, our church. So, until next time, have a good week. Blessings upon you and your families. And find a time and a way to be with others this week. And maybe help them out. Or maybe just keep them company. That's a good thing. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.